hey guys welcome to my channel so i started this um coloring page just a second ago just sitting on my couch and i realized oh i'm so sorry guys i'm so sorry i realized that this might be fun for some people um i printed these sheets from amy likes amy plans things on etsy and i have some markers that i was just gonna swatch on i just realized this one's not very I was just gonna swatch them on this page. So um, if you guys wanna see that, just hang out. I'm gonna move those to the side because I got those already done. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm doing all my warm shades and then I'll do all my cool shades. Um, there's two markers in this, this set. I've got um, traditional Tombows. Everybody knows a good Tombow. So um, if you don't know, Tombows are a dual tip. One side is a brush side, the other side is a fine point. Um, so we're gonna be doing some swatching some Tombos and also some King Art. I got these at Walmart. They're not in the, they're in the, the aisle with the sketchbooks, things like that. I had not heard about these. I just kind of stumbled across them and um, they're very similar to Tombos. So one side is a brush side, the other side is a fine point. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna do these. Let's do these. Um, so that is, this is King Art. And then this is Tombow, which is very similar. So they feel very similar. Um, the to This one is a Tombow's fine point is finer than King Art. And their brush tends to be a little bit almost softer. They're very similar in shape. But anyways, um, what we're going to do is we'll be do swatching these today um, on my coloring sheet. And if you want to see that, stick around. I did go ahead and punch it because they were in my planner. But like I said, um, I thought this might be entertaining. So um, I stopped doing it and came in here to uh, play around. So this is uh, a King Art. That's very similar to that very first one. What I'm doing is coloring it with one side, touching it up with the other, and then doing a line here at the bottom. This is 141 King Art 141 is what I'm doing. Next, mm, these are in no particular order. Man, but that Tombow just colors so well. I don't know if it's the red or what, but it does things. So I've been, like I said, I've been touching it up as I, whatever I don't get colored. Put a line and it is Tombow 847. And I've been putting TA or TB Tombow. what did I say? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. 847. So is it going to bother you if I turn it like this ever so slightly? Man, is that a Tombow? No, this is a King Art. Okay. Touch it up. Draw a line. I almost like this side better. It feels like a 1.0. Um... And they say King Art Twin Tip Brush Pen, 105 Lemon. 105, King Art, 105. <clears throat> I'm pull my glasses out, who am I kidding? Okay, these orangey ones. Um, color so weird because they all are like I don't know what that's about this is another King Art Peach 116 King Art 116 I'm just going to leave the lid off that Tombow 912 I bought this because I thought it was orangey enough to be like a good fall color which is really pretty 
Tombo 912. So what do you guys been up to? Anybody have, what's the weather like in your area? Um, yeah, the Tombow tips are a lot softer, just FYI. But I, I wish I had the packaging for these King Art. Um, I just don't, I've had them for a second. Oh wait, but this is King Art. <laughs> I can't tell them apart, y'all. Um, I'm sorry. But like I said, I don't have the packaging. Um, I had just gotten them and was just playing with them because I wanted Tombos, but I was like, do I want to commit to all of those? Um, trying to collect them and they, they, Tombos are a little pricey. Um, God, these are all very similar, but anyway, Tombos are a little pricey, um, unless you can find a good deal on them at Michael's. But I thought at the rate that I'm probably not going to use, oh, that is nowhere close to that line. Um, at the rate that I probably won't use these as much, um, I was like, let me just get these. <laughs> that line was awful. So anyways, I've been pretty pleased with them. King Art. King Art Orange Yellow, number 119. King Art 119. And then I'll do the blues. Ooh, let's do these. I like these two reds together. So you could tell them apart. Well, this one's like a maroon red, like a berry red, and this one's like a true brick red. And it is 101 red. <laughs> Who would have thought? King Art 101. I don't know that I love all these tan shades. Last week, uh, Michael's had a deal on the packs of Tombos for like half off. Um, King Art 75. Um, and I had bought a pack, but then I realized very quickly that I'd already had all the shades like separately. So I just returned it, but. And then I went in to like exchange it out. And they had gone to buy one, get one half, not just half off. So I was like, mm, let me just return it. This one is Light Coral, King Art 218. If I can find it, I'll try to link them below. Um, but like I said, oh, this one's pretty. Do I have this one similar? That tip seems... Okay, so I will tell you the inconsistency in the tips of these. Some of them are a little bit um, tougher than others. So if that would bug you, then just be aware. 110 and 110. Those are so similar. This one is probably one of my favorite Tombos. I think it's so pretty. I'm trying not to go really close to the edge with this, the brush part of it because um, I have an ink jet printer and it almost smears ink. Ugh, Tombow 76 something. Tombow 76, I think it's 761, I don't know, I'll have to look it up. But that, that is missing a number. This one, this one, not the same, Burnt Sienna. Um, so anyway, I don't know why I thought this might be satisfying to some people. I enjoy it. If you guys ever watched um, Mary Ellen's, she got those oh, oh hoo hoo markers. Did you guys watch that video? Um, do you watch Planning with Bumble? She had, I think Heather, sort these markers by color. And I was like, that is so satisfying. Um, because they had come in a pack and oh, that is so pretty. They had come in a pack and they were like all kind of mixed in. So um, she sped through a video of, I think it was Heather, um, sorting them by color. And I was like, that is so satisfying. This is Tombow 55. So anyway, I thought it was, I thought it was cool. So then here I am sitting on my couch and I asked my husband, I'm like, would this be worth somebody watching? Would somebody want to watch this? I would. So we're just watching. 
So I have, oh, this tip is really, really soft. King Art 107. So it is Sunday. Um, I finally have a Sunday off. Look at all this dog hair. I finally have Sunday off, so I was like just chilling. I was watching that Amy Plans Things videos, and she had I was doing a tracker, or I'd looked up her February trackers. If you guys don't know, she does like a whole bundle, um, and you can print them. And so I was just on her channel, or on her Etsy, or yeah, Etsy page, and I was like, "Oh, these are really cool," and I'd had. Let me get this. I'd gotten this at Walmart in the same aisle as the markers, but I have these already. See, I had swatched that pack that I had already gotten and realized that those two were very similar. Like these two were very, so I just, just returned it. But anyway, I had swatched these markers on this paper, but for some reason wanted it in my big planner. So here we are. Oh my gosh, this, I have French Bulldogs and their hair is everywhere. I apologize if that grosses you out. Kind of grosses me out and they're my dogs. Um, so anyway, man, I just realized how similar all these colors are when they're like this. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. We have off. We're just going to hang out. My husband and I just had breakfast. We had Spam and eggs. Do you guys eat Spam and eggs or have you ever had Spam? Um, you either like it or you don't like it. <laughs> and... I am half Filipino, and so growing up, my dad, who is the one that's Filipino, um, would just make it for us for, us for breakfast, so um, I love it. So that's what we had just had. Okay. So that is, I'm just going to, here, I'm, I'm just going to white out brain and put like warm shades. Um, so let's do the cool shades. Um, and this is how I kind of have them. Um, this is going to be really, really loud. Um, I have the cool ones this way, and then I put the warm ones facing the, this way. I'm not going to take them out. I was going to take them out, and I was like, mm, that's a bad idea. Um, but anyway, I have them in this, just this container. Um, so we're going to do the cool shades. And I, don't, I can't remember the price of these. I can't remember. Probably should have done a little research before I got on here. Um, but I didn't even bring my iPad in here. I could look it up while we we're chatting. But King Art. One, ooh, 146. I'm surprised I hadn't messed up on until just right then on writing these out. So I did red, orange, pink, and then I'm gonna in yellow, and then I'll do purple, green, and blue on this page. But anyway, Mary Ellen's um, oh who who oh uh, is that how she how you say it? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm probably butchering that. Um, hers were oil based markers, and you guys know, or maybe you don't know, oil based markers go through paper. Um, whew, that is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. <clears throat> so she you can't use those in your planner these are just like just like tombos king art two, zero two seven this is called sea blue it's pretty I'll show you the back of this in two seconds. Let's get a couple more colors on here and I'll show you. And this is just regular printer paper. I wanted I wanted it to be white, white, like the paper, so it doesn't skew the color of the marker. So I had just printed it on a regular marker or regular paper. And so um, it's just regular printer paper. Let's do one more. I'll do a dark blue. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. I wish, um, which I guess there is a couple now um, I wish the Happy Planner brought out Navy, which I guess they had that Kilio, not Kiliograph. What was that one book that was all blue? And then they have King Art 140. Um, this is your year, so I guess they do have blue, but um, blue, Navy blue stickers are hard to come by. 
But this is the back of the paper. And again, this is really cheap, just traditional printer paper. I'll put this underneath so it doesn't get everywhere. Um, but. And I was going to put these in just like one whole page of blue, one whole page of gray, one whole page of green. And I was like, that seems excessive. So I just put them all on cools and warms. This is Tombow N60. Oh no, my husband is washing, doing laundry. <laughs> I can hear the dryer right, or the washer. And I have clothes in the dryer. <laughs> Oopsie. And they've probably been there all week. Do you guys do that? Um, I do that. And uh, he's probably going to like be so annoyed that I just left him in there. So I guess after this video, I'm going to be folding laundry. King Art 145. Hopefully he won't go in there and change over. It. Oh, that is so pretty. He won't go over there and go in there to change over the laundry until I get done with this. <laughs> He's probably already looked in the dryer. I'm infamous for doing laundry and then leaving it in the dryer until they're all worn. It drives him nuts, but... My ADHD is like, uh, we'll wait. <laughs> I'm so annoying. That is pretty too. These blues. Apparently I like blue a lot. Got a little out of the lines on that one, but that's okay. We're not being overly picky. I feel like, um, King Art. I feel like, uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> Just because I'm playing with color, not because I'm painting or designing or. When I was growing up, speaking of my dad, um, he had moved in with my grandmother and my sixth grandmother, like as I was starting to get a little older. And so she didn't really have a whole lot of cable TV. And so we used to watch um, King Art. Sorry, I can't do two, that and that. Same time. Uh, we used to watch the Lawrence Welk show and Bob Ross like all the time. It's <laughs> just what stayed on the TV. And back then, you didn't really care. Because you didn't really watch TV like that. Or at least I didn't. She also had, like, um, Publisher's Clearinghouse. All those little books and stuff. It was funny. Anyways. She was my Filipino grandmother, so it was, like, probably a little different, traditionally, um, different grandmother than, like, a... An American grandmother. What am I even talking about? A fun Filipino grandmother. All right. That tip is split. It looks like. That's okay. Um, this is avocado. Do y'all like avocados? We love av avocados. All right. Ooh, this one's so pretty. This like sagey green. The lid, I mean, the lids are pretty close to the color swatch. Um, we'll go through that here in a second. I'll go through the next couple ones. I'll show you um, how similar. Because, you know, that can be like a deal breaker for a lot of people. But um, King Art 201 Smoke. But, I mean, it's a pretty close spot on. This is, t uh, uh, okay. Well, this one and this one is probably really similar. But, oh, this one's pretty. This one's a Tombow. Let's see if their um, tips, I mean, yeah, they're spot on also. So I would think these King Art markers are a really good knockoff or a cheaper version or a variation of Tombows. Tombow, three, seven, boop, three. So if you do want something cheaper, like I said, these are definitely worth it. Look how saturated in color that is. That's very similar to that one. So like I said, I was going to put all the blues together and all the greens, but then I thought if I add more, if I just happen to pick up a Tombow or something, um, and then I needed to put it in the pinks and it was in the reds, I couldn't, you know what I mean? So again, I mean, that is spot on. This is King Art 103. And what I'll do is I'll use this. Um, ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Well... Because those look really similar. 
And what I do with this is I will use it for if I'm trying, God, it's so similar. If I'm trying to um, match, <clears throat> I don't know, like this, and I'll be like, oh, what color is this? And I'll just take this page and be like, oh, that's pretty close. Or, oh, that's pretty close. You know what I mean? So I'll just use it like that to like match, match stickers. Purple. Let's do a purple. Oh, I don't need any purples on this page yet. There's not a lot of shades of purple in this book. I mean, in this um, bundle. But again, this one is a tinge bit different, but it's really close. King Art 142. Here's another purple. I'll just... I'm just literally grabbing it out of this bin over here. But I do think the tips vary. That's pretty darn close. So I do think the, the, the firmness of the brush tip is a little bit different. So maybe if I was being um, serious about like a like writing with a brush tip, I would probably test it. So I knew the uh, like this one's a lot firmer than the last one. Um, I would test it on paper just to see what pressure I needed to use if I was really doing brush pens, like a calligraphy type, but I don't do that. King Art 108, and this one's pretty close too. So the difference between the lids also um, is this. These are a little thinner. Um, the King Art is thinner in your hand than the Tombos, but I mean, probably not enough to make a difference. I don't even know if you could tell the difference, but um, that is the two. I love this color green. It's like my, probably my favorite green. Um, I also like falls, any of those fall colors I really enjoy. And again, the difference in the thickness of these, this is like a, it feels like a point, if, if I were to give it a number, if you are aware of like nibs on pins, the Tombow feels like a 0.7, where the King Art feels like a 1.0. Um, I don't know like the, the, the nibs, like number size of these, but just to kind of give you the, the feel of what it might be if you were comparing it to a pin. Oh, this is navy, this one's pretty too. Gosh, I've got hair everywhere. Look at my hand where that I'm holding these markers and I just keep writing on myself. <laughs> um, this is King Art 144. And their names are really good too. Like Midnight Blue, like I would be like, oh, that's probably really, really dark. It is. Um, oh, this tip is really soft. That's the only thing I could say about that's, that's maybe a negative with these King Arts. Um, it's just the the, di the difference in the... But this side feels pretty pretty common between marker to marker. Um, but I should have looked it up. I'm sorry, y'all. I probably should have looked up to how much, see how much these are. Um, But I'm sure, I mean, they were just an in-store, so I'm pretty sure they would probably be on the website, on Walmart's website. I didn't even look to see if you can get um, King Art on Amazon, but that's probably a thing. All right, we're getting down to the to the end here. Just a couple more. That's pretty. It's like a jewel tone. I work in bridal, and we have a bridesmaid's color that's this color, and it's called Gem. It's really pretty. Um, let's see. This one is, oh my gosh, my husband's walking through the house. He's probably going to fold laundry. <laughs> you hear him yelling. I apologize now. I'm just kidding. He's not probably not going to say nothing. But he is going to change over his laundry and he is. <laughs> oh, yes. King Art 106. This is just called Dark Green. Let's throw in a minty green. Yeah, Tombos tend to be a little firm or more firm. 
and they still layer the same. If you guys know, if you have Tombows and you, they're not, they are layer, you can layer them. Um, but the, they, they show streaks, obviously, um, once you start adding layers. Um, and they all layer, these, the two markers, King Art and Tombow, both layer the same. And that you see the streaks if you add color on color. I know he's in there just like fuming. I find it funny. He doesn't find it funny. I mean, he does. I mean, it's not like he, it's not like an argument in our fan, in our marriage, but he's probably in there like, I told him, I said, at this point, you might as well just know that it's going to happen because it's just who I am. <laughs> he'll probably take it all out. We have a little bench in our closet and he'll probably take it all out and just put it on there. And everything will be wrinkly. And that's my fault. That's my bad. So I can't be too mad at him. All right. Oh, this is gray. Dang it. I may put this in my gray pile. I have a little. Yeah, I should probably should have put that in my gray. I have one that I'm going to do a page of like blacks, grays, and browns. And this one's called Mink. 212. I'll put that to the side. That tip is really soft. You see how, did you notice how quickly it covered that dot? Um, because when the tip is really soft, it expands almost, and so it covers more surface space as you color. King Art. And I don't even know what, I didn't buy these for any particular reason. You know, we're collectors of all the things. And this one's really firm. See how much I'm having so many more strokes I'm having to make in order to cover it. And I haven't used these, like, I haven't used this color over this color. Like, you know, like, as you start to use them, they will kind of soften. But I haven't used these enough for one nib to be softer than the other. So it's not as if they've been used and worn. Um, it's just that they've... That's kind of how they are. Oh. Tombo. 312. Tombo. 312. I didn't realize how much more, more how many more green that I had than, than, um, is this Tombo? This is Tombo. This one's pretty. That's how dark that is. I bought obviously this red and the green during Christmas time because I needed um, a good dark green. This is called 249. I kind of wish Tombos had names of colors because I think that would be fun. But if you guys know Mary Ellen, she also names them herself, which is kind of funny. It looks so pretty outside, like it's sunshiny here. Um, I live in Tennessee and but I'm pretty sure it's cold. King Art 146. We had snow earlier in January and it was like, just, it sticks to everything. That one's really soft. Sometimes I get to the edges, sometimes I don't. Oh, I don't love doing cleaning up the edges with this because it streaks it, but that's okay. That is a true olive green. Art 120. And again, spot on color. Spot on. Good job, King Art. Oy. This one's pretty. I handpicked all these Tombos from my from Michael's. These none of these came in kits. Um so I don't know why I'm surprised by the fact that I like all these, because again, I chose them all. <laughs> Wow, that is purple. That is violet. What do you think the name of this is called? Oh, you probably could see it because it was turned upright. It is true purple. King Art 109. All right, one more. And then we'll stop there. I won't make you endure me coloring the blacks and the grays and the browns. but Or maybe you do. Maybe so you can see the whole pack. 
I'll continue. Okay. Um, peacock. Spot on color. Okay. So that is cools and warms. <clears throat> and we'll do one more. And I don't have that many grays and browns and grays, browns, and grays, browns, and blacks. Uh, I'm going to do that same color gray that I did in the cool colors because I like to keep these. Oh my God, my hand, I've got ink everywhere. Um, I like to keep the grays. Oh gosh, this one's colored awful, Heather. Jeez Louise. Um, I like to keep these separate so that I know which what colors I have. And I have them in this case. Oh, I do have a ton. My bad. But I'm, these are most of these are like a lot of these are blacks. Oh, oh my gosh, look how many there are. All right, well let's get to swatching. These are just as many, um, just as many warm colors as I do black and gold or black and tan. Oh, I didn't even look at the number. Oh, gosh. I didn't even do this. Heather, get it together. I just did this for like 25 minutes. King Art. 72. Ash Black. Like, are all these the same? Because all the blacks are the same. I'm obviously not going to do 104, 207, and 104. These two are the same. And I put a lot of the peaches, which I have peaches in the warm page, but there are some tans in this pack, in this set, like the tans and blacks, the neutrals, let's call it neutrals, Heather, neutral. Um, that may be close to the neutrals on the warm shit, warm paper. This is Tombow. I could feel it. That is a perfect shade of neutral. <laughs> this is number 992. Tombow 992. That's a really pretty shade of brown. Has anybody ever said, have you ever any, heard, <laughs> have you heard anybody ever say that? That is a really pretty shade of brown. Who thinks brown is pretty? Maybe some people. Obviously, brown is um, really popular, like neutrals, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> brown is somebody's favorite color. Not mine, but it's somebody's. I think I'm a warm, I mean a cool color. I prefer cool colors over warm colors, just in general. This is King Art 207. That's like a gray, that's like a green black. I can hear my dog sniffing under the door. Can you guys hear that? Probably not. Now my husband has moved back to the living room, so I'm assuming he's done in the... <laughs> in the laundry room <laughs> stay tuned i'll let you know whether or not it's he folded it all for me there's a couple options he either folded it all for me he went in, that tip is so soft he went in there and realized my stuff was in the closet and just walked away folded it walked away or threw it on the bench those are the three options if i had to guess i would say he threw it on the bench just despite which again it's my fault oh my god what oh that's black i thought it was a brown i picked this up and thought it was a brown um but it's and i colored it and i'm like god that's the darkest shade of brown nope it's definitely just black just black 107 king art 104 sorry not 107 So, again, I was going to sort these way more, way more than I did. Um, 
I could have sorted them by um, one page of greens, one page of blue, page of blue, one page of pink, one page of, and then I was like, that's too much, first of all. Then I should have done it, I mean, I could have done it by brand, because it here it says brand, and she intends this to be colored by brand, but because I have, I don't know, 15 Tombos, um, I didn't want to have just a full page of cools and warm Tombos, so that didn't wasn't going to work. Um, so, if you're looking for Tombos instead of the King Art, I'm sorry that I didn't sort these by by brand, but. Um, Th at the same time, this shows you how similar King Art is to Tombow, and Tombow is to King Art. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, if you're looking for just a good marker to have, color option wise, you know, I would, I would, I would, I would highly recommend King Art. A lot of people that do bullet journaling and and things like that love a good Tombow because that's a really pretty brick a brick brown um but everybody you know there's there's people that are diehard Tombow fans and I'm here for it king art but I just need a marker this is black I'm not gonna do that one again if you want to collect but you don't want to pay Tombow pricing these, you can't shake a stick at these because these are pretty awesome. King Art. Okay, look at this. I got a handful more. And then we're done. I have it in that little book because I do. I was carrying it to Michael's when I bought Tombos. But then I, after I bought King Art, I'm like, I'm not going to keep buying Tombos because I have all the colors. Like, I literally have... A ton of colors. Look at how many different shades of brown. Who knew? Who knew? This is coffee. Deep coffee. Is this the shade of co the color you like your coffee? There's like this, 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 <laughs> that. How do you like your coffee? Comment below how dark... Do you like a dark roast? Do you like a light roast? Um, and then at that point, do you use cream? How much cream? I go through phases. Or really, it depends on the day. Sometimes I drink black coffee. Sometimes I like a cream coffee. But on a regular, my coffee looks like this. Or a splash of cream. Just like the very slightest splash of cream. Sometimes I want cream. Sometimes I don't. I don't like sweet coffee. <clears throat> Well, let me rephrase that. If I drink a latte or something, yeah, sure. Like, that's fine. But, like, on a regular, I don't add... I, I just... Hmm, most of the time, I add just a splash of cream. And when I say creamer, I mean, like, a sweetened cream. Like a, like a amaretto or, like, a French vanilla. You know, that kind of creamer. But I don't add sugar and a sugared creamer. So, but I'm a coffee drinker, so I love a good coffee. God, I colored that one awful. So anyway, enough about browns and coffee. Coffee's probably not good for my blood pressure. <laughs> or my heart rate. My... Oh, that is so dark. That is a black coffee. Do you like black coffee? Because that's what that looks like. Maybe I should name all these myself and not um, look at the color name of them. Brown. It's called brown. I was going to say coffee brown. No, just brown. Two more, y'all. This is like a green gray. Light gray. This is called light gray. King Art 74. What was that other one? This one called white. That's white. This is white. 
in case you're wondering. Last one. And then I'm going to go fold laundry. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I don't even know how long those have been in there. Monday? <laughs> A week? Port Red. Oh no! It's the same one! It's okay. I was like, I've already seen that one. It's that one. But it's this one. Yep, same one. Somehow, I have two. All right. So that is that. Um, again, that is my brown neutral page, cool page, and warm page. So that, again, King Art and Tombow. Um, Tombow? Let me show you while I have you here. I'm going to show you this. I got this from, let me clean off my desk here real quick. Um, I got this King Art Twin Tip Sketch sketch Markers, um, 24 of them. I found them at Burlington Coat Factory. Um, funny story, I work in an outdoor like mall center. I work in Bridal, and we had had a snow day, and I was essentially stuck at work because my husband had driven me there, and... I was waiting for him to get off work, so I just walked over to um, Burlington. I paid nine ninety five, and they are. And again, I'll I'll try to link um, King Arts website, but these are pretty neat. I am not a calligraphy user, but let me just pull one out of here. One side is a brush tip, and the other side. Is a fine liner. So I probably need to write a little bigger because I can't write small. Um, look how pretty that is. Oh, sorry. We'll do a warm shade. And I can swatch these if you care that much. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys. They're really thin, like really small, and they're just a fun, a fun, quick, easy, um, little brush pen. And I thought, well, those are neat. I'm not, <laughs> I need to practice. I don't know, I can't figure out, um the obviously the upstrokes anyways this is not a brush a brush video <clears throat> but anyway that's all so i'm gonna show you guys there's um i guess king art is a thing these i did not get at walmart um like i said i got these at burlington i don't know if you can get them i'm assuming you can get them oh look kingartco.com so check out king art it's pretty neat it's pretty cool um they got all kinds of markers and, and gadgets so that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, hit the like and subscribe button just for quick videos that I post and you can get in the moment. I don't have a, a schedule. So when I say quick videos, I mean, they just go up when they go up. Um, so hit the notification bell. So then that way you'll get notified every time I post a video. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a great afternoon.